Amongst all the hard work, it's good to take a break. We've had choir practice every day for the past two weeks. <laughs> and we've been working really hard with all the young songs. We put actions into it as well. Moving in my heart, as in we are polishing their shoes because we pay attention to detail and I think you'll see that in their singing. Very confident but very nervous at the same time. Yay! This is the trophy that will be awarded to one of our junior schools. Who's it going to be? Well, we'll find out in a couple of weeks in our gala concert. It could well be this next choir. Next, we're off to Cambridgeshire. We're in Peterborough, near the city centre. We have 205 pupils aged from 7 to 11. We have a school motto. Believe in yourself. Southfield! Value others. Be proud of your achievements. Yeah! Smile, be happy. Hurrah! We never get lost in our school. We like to get mucky in our environmental area. We grow our own veg and sell it to the school kitchens. We also have our very own outdoor swimming pool. We even have our own museum. What is this? Mr Silver set the choir up just three years ago and since then we've won lots of competitions. Mr. Silver makes sure our words are spot on. He does some of the strangest things ever known to man. Okay, don't do that. This is for you, Alid. The choir have been working really hard, and I'm very proud of them. Mums liked hearing us sing so much, Mr De Silva started their own choir. Now we can't stop them. What do they think this is? Mother's Day? This is our wishing well, where anyone can make a wish. I bet you can't guess what we're wishing for. See you in Manchester! I was so proud of them. They did absolutely everything I wanted. I couldn't want more, put it that way. I was ecstatic with their performance today.
We're um, effectively a council estate school and it's just an amazing achievement. Our children are absolutely ecstatically over the moon that they're here. There can't be any more superlatives or anything for it. They're just over the moon and I'm so proud of them for getting here. It means ever such a lot to us, the whole school, and it proves that music and not English and maths can rule the way. But has the music from Southfields impressed the judges? The thing that I felt about them was that they appeared to have a kind of pride in their choir. There was a sense of confidence in them that was actually rather touching to see. Yeah. I think a lot of that comes from a musical director, a good musical director, because you get a real sense that they're a team and they're working together. I, I was and watching the relationship between the conductor and the little ones and uh, there was a lot of very personal mm. connection between the conductor and the singers. Sure. Mm. Abide with me, I felt it, they were rushing ahead with it. It was it, that the mm. pianist in particular was wanting it to go faster than they were prepared to do. Or am I on my own in that one? No, I agree with you. It's, it's tricky word setting and it, it, it continues because they then have to take a breath late. You know, they've got to go through the next phrase and it, it makes it more problematic. I would have liked to have heard a, a, a flurries of harmony. Harmony. Mm. Right. In the, that, for me, would have lifted the song. The unison was wonderful. Mm. I really enjoyed the Badgers and Hedgehogs and I think they did, which just made us enjoy it. A lot of, lot of fun in their performance. Yes. Before even they, they, they even started, I, I felt there was a real sense of excitement and, and their hands were tingling and, you know, you could see there was going to be something exciting yeah. happening. Yeah. And that's always wonderful. You know you're going to get a great commitment from them. Yeah.